Hello Arcadia back here with another Solstheim video. I guess we just gotta follow Freya to the Skull Village and uh, see what see what's going on. Storm has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. So already I can I can see that it looks a little bit bigger or little like the buildings are a little bigger than I remember but I mean it's been a little while since I last uh, played played for Blood Moon so but these are definitely the Skyrim style buildings they didn't do anything special unfortunately which is kind of a shame I see there's a skull on one of these though which is kind of cool So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. How do you know this? The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine, but if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was dragonborn. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the Windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order, highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them, becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night, but now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. Mirak is behind what is happening to our village, and so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. 
Okay, so it looks like I have to go somewhere to go learn a word of power. So this could be interesting. Now whereabouts do I have to go? Okay. Alrighty. Um, so I wonder what would be the best way to get there. I... Yeah. Well, well. We'll figure it out, right? I mean, I'm sure you guys probably know everything about it, but this is my first time through this, so I don't really know where to go. So it's, uh, still not going to lie, though. I mean, being able to go back to Solstheim is just, I know it's, I've mentioned this many times, but for me, this is so damn cool. I d it's not very often where Bethesda actually um, has you go back to a place that you've been to in another game before. So to me, this is really cool. And I know a lot of you probably haven't played Morrowind, but... Oh, I thought I heard a Silt Strider for a second there. They're basically those, um, they're essentially giant bugs that the Dunmer use for, um, like for taxi rides. Like, uh, there's always a guy who controls it and... Oh, look at that. There's a Spriggan. She uh, took control of that snow fox to go after me. Oh, I wasn't even sure what shout I had equipped there for a second. I guess it was that dragon ass back then. Figure probably one of the better shouts for killing sp Spriggans would probably be fire, um, fire breath. I mean, I'm just taking a guess here, but you would think, right? Because they're technically made out of uh, wood. You'd think that fire breath would be the best option against them anyway. Looks like there's a... I'm surprised it didn't make me discover that. It looks like there's a cave over here somewhere that I could discover. I'm guessing it's probably up that uh, waterfall. So I'm just going to discover this cave anyway, just for the heck of it. Just thinking, what the heck does that flag mean? Benker, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But I do not remember that from, from uh, Blood Moon, so... This is obviously a new cave. I think I just heard a dragon. Yep, I definitely heard a new... I just... <laughs> yep, yep, I definitely heard a dragon. Of course, I do such a poor Tweety impression. So... So I will be right back. I am going to cut the video here just for a second. And I'll c continue uh, right from here. But I'll uh, see you guys in just a few minutes here. Okay, so we're back with some more, uh, 
some more Dragonborn. We're trying to get that new uh, shout in order to uh, save the... Uh, what do you call those guys? <laughs> save the uh, the natives, basically, anyway. As well as the people at Raven Rock. So... What kind of dragon is that? Okay, well, whatever. You gotta be kidding me. Really? Why do you guys have to come after me? So we got Bend Will. Huh. Interesting. So... Am I the only one to ask this question, but who is Will and why are we bending him? <laughs> Poor Will. Oh, I'm terrible. Terrible, terrible joke. But that's me. I quite often have really, really weird sense of humor. And I'm sure somebody out there was thinking it. I mean, I can't be the only one. So, where is that dragon? I mean, I don't have to kill it, but why not, right? There you are. A serpentine dragon. Huh. Never seen one of those before. They don't look that much different than regular ones, though, but... Well, since I might be using my bow for a bit, I might as well use my my one ring. And of course, I'm not trying to do a um, Lord of the Rings reference there. <laughs> I do have Dragon Rend, which is a shout that you can use to get uh, dragons to land. And I will try to use it as soon as my shout has, like my shout th uh, cooldown is up. Whoo, that was close. <laughs> okay, just gonna take a couple potions here to, well, reduce some of that damage a little bit. Ooh, a chest. Don't mind if I do. Come here, dragon. Ah, come here. He's definitely fighting that that Draugr, which is kind of nice. I will admit I am not the best archer, but Ah, crap. Of course, I missed with the shout. Just trying to heal myself up again. Well, I have no idea how good this is going to be. Okay, I did not mean to pick Arvac. Oops. Let's let's summon Dernavir. And maybe he'll do some damage to this dragon for me. Especially since I, I keep missing with Dragon Rend, which is so embarrassing. Cause uh both both the summon Dernavir and uh Call Dragon Shout, which is the Call o Odaving. They both called two different dragons to uh, come to your aid, so they're actually kind of kind of cool shouts. Personally, you get the Call Call Dragon or 
as it's r really uh, called, Oda Ving. Um, by doing doing one of the quests in the main quest to uh, to capture Oda Ving the dragon, and once you capture him, he uh, he offers to join you, and you can call him whenever you want after that. Well, Durnavir was a um, uh, was a dragon in the dra the Dawn Guard uh, DLC that you met in the Soul Cairn. So, so Durnavir is doing some damage, I think. But it would be nice if I could get. Uh, If I could get that dragon down. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably wasting everybody's time here, just kind of waiting for it to come back. Just checking the time to see how long this has been going for. So I'm going to try not to make these videos more than 20 minutes long for now on. I mean, you know, that's just what I'm going to try to do. Ah, uh, come back here. <laughs> There's a frost roll over there. I thought I heard a skeleton just break. So this video will probably just be, uh, well, this whole dragon thing. I mean, nothing too exciting, right? Trying to get... Man, I am not a very good shot. Yeah. Oh, and of course now he comes back. Sort of. Okay, where are you going, dragon? Ah. Uh, don't tell me he landed on top of the mountain. Once they get to a low amount of health, they actually land uh, forcefully. And then you can kind of finish them off after that. You know, I'm just telling people who haven't played this before. I mean, there's probably very few of you out there that would be watching this that haven't played it. But you never know. Just kind of... Man, he hits hard. <laughs> I should maybe... Um, take some more potions here. Could not see for a second there. There we go. This dragon soul belongs to me. Well, aren't you ever a nice asshole? Er, excuse the language. I grow ever stronger. Well. Thanks for stealing my soul. Well, that was interesting. 
So what do I gotta do now? Oh yeah, I guess I have to go to the windstone. So I guess I might as well just fast travel since I've been there anyway. I mean, why not, right? So I need to use bend will. Sorry, Will, but apparently we have to bend you. Okay, sorry. I'll stop. I know it's a terrible joke, but I just have to do it. Good. Huh. Sure enough, eh? What the heck is that? Interesting. Just technically I should just switch to my sword and just attack him, but yeah, this is working. He is definitely one ugly guy, though. Slaughterfish scales. Is this a dream? Well, it is a nightmare, surely. Interesting. The whole village is here. What sorcery is this? All maker bless you. You have saved us. Okay, well, I guess I might as well go turn this in and then Um that'll probably be it for this video. Anyway. Most of my most of the time was taken up with that ba with that bottle uh I was gonna say boss battle. With that battle of that dragon. So kind of a Apologies for that, but I guess it couldn't be helped. So I guess we gotta go see the shaman and see what's going on. You have prevailed. I can feel it. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstheim. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it, but the dark elf wizard, Neloth. He came to us some time ago, asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. He also is searching for them. In fact, he has already found one. He showed it to me when he came here. It was very like the one you found in Mirak's temple. A thing of dark magic, not of the ore maker. The power of the stone had been corrupted. It was the source of the influence that had taken control of the skull. Your shout broke whatever evil will controlled the stone, 
and restored its true nature as a conduit of the all-maker's gifts. Freeing the other stones will diminish whatever dark influence is spreading across Solstheim. Yes, there are six sacred stones. Wind, water, earth, beast, sun, and tree. Through them, the oneness of the land is maintained. Freya saw that the tree stone now stands imprisoned in Mirak's new temple. I doubt that you can free it until his power is broken. But you may be able to cleanse the other stones. Even if this does not stop Mirak, it surely will delay his return. I remember in Blood Moon, um, in order to to prove yourself to the skull, you had to actually seek out each of those stones, and each of the stones would like uh, give you a quest to. Um, like I remember the the water stone, you had to find a horker, which is one of those kind of what do you call them, like a walrus type of type of creature. You had to find one of those horkers, and you had to follow it all the way out to the water to. Um, I can't remember exactly, but but anyway, each of the stones had a different quest related to it, and you had to do every single one in order to prove yourself to the skull and, uh, be, you know, become one of their friends, basically. So this is definitely, um, definitely different, anyway. You don't have to do that as much, I guess. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will continue playing this. I just have to uh, cut this here, but we'll see you guys in a few minutes here.